I'd like to start by paying tribute to the New Zealand men, women and children who lost their lives on the 22nd of February, but also to pay tribute to the overseas citizens who also lost, lost their lives. I think uh, for many of us we would acknowledge that it has been a pretty horrific tragedy for this country. And there are many uh, New Zealanders who have, might not have lost someone but know of someone who has been lost. But I think in a time of tragedy we have also seen some extraordinary New Zealanders step up. And just to name a few, there are so many New Zealanders around the country that have offered anything from a bed um, to some linen to some food. And just to acknowledge all of those New Zealanders who have stepped up. But also we've seen some extraordinary leadership come through. The student army, they've captured the, the respect of the nation. I think they've also captured the pride of the nation. And I think one of the things about this crisis is sometimes it takes an extraordinary crisis to change the values of a nation. And so I think that is one of the positive things that could come from this. I think everybody has a story. And a lady walked into my office recently. She didn't know that her husband was travelling to Christchurch on the day. And he was actually working in the Pine Gould building. Fortunately for her and for him, he popped out for a coffee. And so that day, he lived, but he was one of the lucky ones. And her story isn't unique, and there are many um, people around New Zealand that are sharing uh, those stories, um, and I think that's a really important part of the process. Finally, I want to just pay tribute to the New Zealand uh, arms for, Armed Forces. I had the opportunity with our Defence Minister to be on board the HMNZS Canterbury and see the extraordinary support that our New Zealand... Uh, armed forces are giving to the people of Canterbury. And I think it really made me reflect, as I hope many other members of Parliament do, on the huge contribution that our armed forces are making in Canterbury at this time. So I'm very pleased to support the Canterbury Earthquake Commemoration Day Bill and just to acknowledge that even though it has been an extraordinary tragedy, there are so many New Zealanders around the country that are stepping up in every possible way and it is making a huge difference to the lives of so many New Zealanders, particularly the people in Canterbury.